Locked up out my bed, turn my charts on Took a look at the pips, is going up Yeah, we yeah. gettin' money, yeah. we gettin uh, fucking money. Hopped up out my bed, turn my charts yeah. on Hot up out my bed, turn my charts on Took a look at the pips, is going up Yeah, we get money ah, ha, ha. Man, I just caught a bunch of pips up in the bill Man, it rich up pips, I got my chain up in the bill It's your boy, Mr. Richard Pips Don't play I just had to take your day Another brick my strategy is unstoppable, and I'm about to show you guys how I did it. I swear, none of you niggas is trading. None of you niggas is trading, though. Hey, I do not trap, nigga, I trade. I'm on my ass and still getting paid. I'm rich OT pips, nigga, self made. You was 30, put in pain. I'm hitting TP. Okay, guys, so I've been on US 30's ass. You know, I've been marking up the charts, following US 30. I sent a trade to my team where they were in profits. Um, a couple of days before I caught my 10K day. So I'm going to show you guys that trade to show you guys how I've been following US 30. I knew that US 30 was in this channel, right? I knew that it was in this channel on an hour time frame. So we was over here and I went to my 15 minute and I've already marked up my support and resistance and key areas and stuff like that. I paid attention to this wick right here. And this was a key area, as you guys can see, I marked it up with the red line. Price rejected this area crazy, so key area noted. So I'm on my 15 minute and I see this big bearish downtrend here, right? So I go ahead and pull out my fib. Right there to right there. So as you guys can see, price retraced at the 50 level, but continued to go back up and make higher highs. But then it retraced at this resistance level. Okay, guys, so fib resistance. This is definitely resistance right here. And it retraced there. After that, price fell and then retraced at the 50 level again, went back up to try to retest the fib resistance again, and it failed. And I seen this. So then I said, okay, we have a pattern here. We have a double top pattern. Okay, so as we fast forward, you know, I didn't end up catching this move right here. I didn't end up catching this fall that happened right here. But I did say, hey, when we get a mean pullback, I'm entering. And that's exactly what happened, guys. My team were waiting for the retracement. And then we see that wick right there. Price goes down a little bit. Price goes back up and retests that same area. Price goes down. Boom. This is when I told my team to enter. After seeing this huge wick, price retesting this area, this huge wick right here, I told my team, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go ahead, right? Place my fib from the high to the low, and boom, it was retracing at this golden area, this golden resistance area. It could not get past this area, guys. A candle could not close above the golden fib area. It just couldn't. And then that's when I realized, guys, we gotta get in right now. So I told my team just like this, just like that, and enter, go for gold. And you guys are gonna see what happened. US 30 just dropped to hell. <laughs> and all my team was TP1, TP2, TP3, profits hit. Cheese, another break. Celebrating, okay? But this is not even the move that made me my 10K day. Okay, now fast forward, you know, we're gonna see what US 30 does 
US 30 continues to drop to hell. People are entering on the retrace. Dropping to hell, dropping to hell, dropping to hell. Okay, guys, so, you know, as US 30 is going to hell, everybody's waiting for, you know, an opportunity to buy because it's US 30 at the end of the day, right? So US 30 makes its first signs of, of bullish activity and drops again, dropping the hell. And then boom, we hit another support area and it shoots up crazy. Now look at this guys, price is making higher highs and stuff. So after US 30 makes its comeback, I expected it to try to come back here and retest this area again. Boom. When price got up to this area again, after going up this time, right? This big bullish move there. And then when it touched this area, when it touched this area again, and then I seen the bullish candle, that's all I needed, guys but I didn't even enter there. <laughs> I entered right here, right here at the retest because I missed this move. So I entered at the next retest and there it was. I told my team get in right now. Okay, so I entered in right there and set up my TPs as you guys already see it set up and we'll see what happens. TPs is being smashed, y'all, all night long. TP smashed. Let's go, TP3! Oh my goodness. And I was so close, it almost hit my stop loss. <laughs> oh my goodness, but. The pips was on our side. And we caught the sniper trade. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I knew that it would have a retrace. After this big move, I knew it would have a retrace. So I caught a little sell right here. Cool. But these three trades is what made me my 10K. And some of you guys may be thinking, well, how the hell did he know to enter right at this moment? Well, guys, because of Fibonacci. If you guys have not watched my Fibonacci video, you need to watch it. This is game changing. I'm put the video right up there. But Fibonacci is how I knew to enter. Guys, you won't always get a perfect entry, but in this case, I got a perfect entry, guys. The best entry I could get, I knew that it would retrace to this area right here, the box that I drew right here. It retraced right to the, the 618 and came up. And that's why I entered, guys. That is exactly why I entered. And I just happened to put my stop loss, you know, big enough for it to not hit my stop loss. And it worked out, guys. But Fibonacci is how I knew to enter this trade just by having my buy area based on the Fibonacci zone. Went ahead and placed my trade after I seen the bullish candle, the bullish price action, bearish to bullish, showing that we're going up. And it came back down one more time, got a little scared. As you guys can see, you know, I had to call it a little close over here. Got scared, but it just retested my 0 0.32 area again. And then I knew we were gold after this happened. <laughs> and from there was history. Okay guys, so this move is already done, but let's fast forward to you know what's going on now. If we look at what's been going on, price has just been making higher highs. And let's go back to our, our four hour time frame. Price wants to come back up here for sure. 
Heist just, you know, retested our channel that we had that it broke through in the first place. And it looks like it's retesting that thing and falling again. Um, so let's go in one hour. Price action looks cool. You know, I'm still bullish, you know, on, on US 30 right now. But, you know, it went above this area. So let's extend it real quick. And honestly, you know, I would just wait for the retracement. Honestly, I would always pull out my fibs. And look, I would see if it retraces to about this area. I would see if it retraces to this area. And if it does, you know, I may just enter for a buy because I believe in the bullish. And I'll put the, the stop loss right below the candle. And then that's it. First TP is gonna be my fib resistance. And then second TP. Go for a little more. And that's how I'm trading US 30 right now, guys. So that's how I caught the 10K day. I hope that you guys catch some more trades using this FIB strategy. It's been killing. I'm going to have an exclusive FIB ultimate strategy. If you guys don't know about my academy, it's called Leverage Lifestyle Academy, where we have six Forks courses, some of the best traders that I know, including two of my courses, not just trading view, but MT4 strategies as well. If you guys want that sauce, just click the link in the description. But yeah, it does look like price is just about to come back and retest here. Kind of something like how it did right here. You already know uh, history repeats itself. Just came back here, did a little triangle thing. How is doing now? So, you know, I ain't no fool. I see you. And watch this hit. And watch me make another video about it. It's Rich Up Also, you know, on the TDI, I just see the momentum getting greater right now. That's all I see. Momentum. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Rising. And we're above the 50 line, showing that we're still in the uptrend. You know, I could put in a bunch of indicators, moving averages, showing that, you know, we're still in the uptrend. So now I'm really just looking for this to be a pullback and then we're going up. So that's my analysis on US 30. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any type of value from this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I promise you, we're going crazy and I'm gonna give you guys so much sauce. I'm gonna give you guys so much sauce, you're gonna drown, all right? I want you guys to be successful trading. I want you guys to master these charts. I want you guys to be rich off pips. Let's get it. Yeah. Look what we got here. It's another brick. Look who.